What's up, Matahun? It is Miss Harris back again with another video. Today, we are learning how to make shadow puppets. Shadow puppets are a lot of fun, so I hope that you guys are able to follow along at home and make something for yourself. So to make a shadow puppet, you are gonna need some materials. First of all, you are going to need something to make the shadow puppet out of. So as I've been talking about in a lot of my videos, I like to use cardboard. Um, this is from a Cheez-It box. Obviously, you can use a cereal box. You can use a frozen waffle box. You can use um, whatever sturdy cardboard you'd like. I would not recommend regular paper because it will not be sturdy enough um, to be held up or to be taped to a stick so that you can make shadows. Definitely recommend something sturdy like um, cardboard from food packaging. You are also going to need either a hair clip or a pen and tape if you have tape. If you don't have tape, um, you're not going to need to use a pen for to holding up your puppet. You're going to want to use something like a hair clip. I like these long hair clips because I can just clip it on to my puppet and then I can make shadows with it. As you can see the shadow below, um, I just got these at the beauty supply store. Um, those are really helpful. Or if you have them from, you know, closing up a chip bag, you can use those. You're going to need scissors. And because we're using this cardboard, I highly, highly, highly recommend that parents, um, adults or older sibling use the scissors because this is a little bit harder to cut through than regular paper, so I don't recommend for young children to cut on their own. So you're gonna need cardboard, you're gonna need a pen, and if you have a pen, you, can, you don't need a marker, but I like to use a marker to draw my puppet. If you have long hair clip or even a bobby pin, that will work to hold your puppet. You're gonna need scissors. You can use tape, but tape is optional. And you're also gonna need either a flashlight or a lamp. So after you gather your materials, first you need to decide on a shape. So you have your cardboard, um, and then you need to decide what kind of puppets do you wanna make. So I made this little um, boy cut out. He's actually Peter from Whistle for Willie. So in um, Whistle for Willie, there's a page where Peter is twirling and whirling on the street, so I traced that and made a little Peter cutout. You obviously don't need to be that detailed. You can do whatever you'd like. For this video, I'm gonna make something simple, and I'm going to make a character from a book that we've already read together. So I'm gonna make a robot puppet from Boy and Bot. So if you notice, you can't really get a lot of detail when you're cutting cardboard, so I picked something that's really easy to make. You can also just have your child make whatever they want. They can draw directly onto the cardboard. You just wanna make sure that there's not too many skinny details because there's gonna be um, some cutting involved and it's gonna be hard to cut out tiny, tiny details. So what you're gonna do is take your cardboard and you're going to find a character or characters to make a puppet. So as I said, step two is draw and cut. I'm going to do um, the robot from Boy and Bot. So I'm gonna take my cardboard and I'm gonna take my marker and I'm gonna draw directly onto the cardboard so that I can cut it out.